Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day of A Year in Miracles. Today we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 188. Today's lesson is, The Peace of God is Shining in Me Now. Why wait for heaven? Those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. The light is in them now. Enlightenment is but a recognition not a change at all. Light is not of the world, yet you who bear the light in you are alien here as well. The light came with you from your native home and stayed with you because it is your own. It is the only thing you bring with you from him who is your source. It shines in you because it lights your home and leads you back to where it came from and you are at home. This light cannot be lost. Why wait to find it in the future or believe it has been lost already or was never there? It can so easily be looked upon that arguments which prove it is not there become ridiculous. Who can deny the presence of what he beholds in him? It is not difficult to look within for there all vision starts. There is no sight, be it of dreams or from a truer source. That is not but the shadow of the scene through inward vision. There, is, there perception starts and there it ends. It has no source but this. The peace of God is shining in you now and from your heart extends around the world. It pauses to caress each living thing and leaves a blessing with it <clears throat> that remains forever and forever. What it gives must be eternal. It removes all thoughts of the ephemeral and valueless. It brings renewal to all tired hearts and lights all vision as it passes. All of its gifts are given everyone, and everyone unites in giving thanks to you who give and you who have received. The shining in your mind reminds the world of what it has forgotten, and the world restores the memory to you as well. From your salvation radiates with gifts beyond all measure, given and returned. To you, the giver of the gift, does God himself give thanks? And in his blessing, does the light in you shine brighter, adding to the gifts you have to offer the world? The peace of God can never be contained. Who recognizes it within himself must give it. And the means for giving it are in his understanding. He forgives because he recognized the truth in him. The peace of God is shining in you now and in all living things. In quietness is it acknowledged universally. For what your inward vision looks upon is your perception of the universe. Sit quietly and close your eyes. The light within you is sufficient. It alone has power to give the gift of sight to you. Exclude the outer world and let your thoughts fly to the peace within. They know the way, for honest thoughts, untainted by the dream of worldly things outside yourself, become the holy messengers of God himself. These thoughts you think with him, they recognize their home, and they point surely to their source, where God the Father and the Son are one. God's peace is shining on them, but they must remain with you as well for they were born within your mind as yours was born in god's they lead you back to peace from where they came but to remind you how you must return they heed your father's voice when you refuse to listen and they urge you gently to accept his word for what you are instead of fantasies and shadows they remind you that you are the co-creator of all things that live. For as the peace of God is shining in you, it must shine on them. We practice coming nearer to the light in us today. 
we take our wandering thoughts and gently bring them back to where they fall in line with all the thoughts we share with God. We will not let them stray. We let the light within our minds direct them to come home. We have betrayed them, ordering that they depart from us, but now we call them back and wash them clean of strange desires and distorted wishes. We restore to them the holiness of their inheritance. Thus are our minds restored with them, and we acknowledge that the peace of God still shines in us and from us to all living things that share our life. We will forgive them all, absolving all the world from what we thought it did to us. For it is we who make the world as we would have it. Now we choose that it be innocent, devoid of sin, and open to salvation. And we lay our saving blessings on it as we say, the peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace and let me bless them with the light in me. And that is our lesson for today. A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 188. And again, it just goes back to understanding the truth about what we are, right? Because if the peace of God is in us and it shines from us on all living things and we are a co-creator of the universe, then we have the power to create happiness and abundance in our life simply by understanding what we are and choosing love as we go about our day today. So I hope that you can incorporate this lesson today. Go inside, connect to your source and understand the power that's there, right? Let go of this idea that you are little and that you are full of fear because that's part of the illusion. Connect with the truth in you. And the truth is you are love and there is nothing more powerful than love. So connect with that today. Great to see all of you here on the live feed. Thank you for joining this morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hey, Kimberly, good to see you. Good morning, Claire. Hi, Sandy. Good morning. Good morning, Colette. So nice to see all of you. Hi, honey. Thanks for joining this morning. I know it's a different time, so I appreciate you all joining now that it's a little bit later for you guys. Good morning, Perul. Nice to see you here this morning. Hi, Pam. Great to see you. Hey, Debbie. Good to see you here this morning. Good Sunday morning to you. Good morning, Greg. Hi, Eric. Great to see you here on the live feed. Good morning, Doug. Blessings to you, Greg, as well. Hi, everyone. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Bonnie. Nice to see you here. Hi, Patricia. Good to see you. Yeah, it is a beautiful lesson, isn't it, Claire? It's such a great reminder. I know it's fantastic, right, Debbie? You know, just to remember who we are and what we are. And, you know, we forget. We forget all the time because we get pulled into the drama that surrounds us. But uh, we have to go inside and connect to our source. You know, it's like charging your cell phone at night. We always plug our cell phones, right? Connect them to the source so that they can be powerful when we use them in the morning. Well, we have to do the same thing for ourselves. We need to plug in. We need to connect to our source so that we can create happiness and abundance in our life so that we don't lose our battery and get drained by the rest of the chaos and the fear that surrounds us, right? It doesn't exist. We don't even need to look on that, right? If we are connected to our source and feeling that connection. So uh, good morning, Sandy. Yes, I'm having a great Sunday. I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday too. Good morning, Alberto. Great to see you. Hey, Lori. Hi, Angelica. Great to see everybody. So hopefully you can go forward today. Remember this lesson. Bring it with you into your day, whatever you have planned for today. And remember what you are and who you are and just how powerful you are. You know, you've got the light of source within you. That's amazing, right? How amazing is that? So share that with the world and uh, see what comes up today for you as you share your light with everyone. And I will be back tomorrow. Not exactly sure what time tomorrow. I think earlier uh, tomorrow I will be back with our next A Course in Miracles live workbook lesson. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day. All right. Thanks. Bye.